Tackle junkies, what's going on fellas? Today we're going to rig up the brand new bait from Biospawn, the Exo Ribbon. All right guys, we do have a few different rigs laid out here, a few different ways to rig up the Biospawn Exo Ribbon in the seven inch. Keep a look out, the 10 inch is coming soon. As of right now, only the seven inch is available. You can pick them up at Biospawn or at Carl's. If you are shopping at Biospawn, you guys can use my code TJ81. That'll save you guys 20% off at checkout. Again, or you can check them out over at Carl's. Links down in the description. Again, we've got a few different ways to rig them up here. Now, most guys may like the Carolina rig for ribbon tail worm. Works great, no doubt. I do like the Mojo rig. If you guys have been watching the family fishing videos, we do really well out here at the ponds with a mojo rig and this particular bait is going to do really well as well it's not going to take much weight or much movement at all to get that tail kicking it's got a nice thin tail to it so it's going to have killer action on the fall with minimal movement so very very cool mojo rig you know we usually use pretty light line you know anywhere from eight to ten pound test i do have eight pound fluorocarbon here and i like to use a light wire hook okay more action for the bait but it's much easier to set with lighter line. So I do have a video on how to rig this up as well, which I'll link down below. We're just going to use a Palomar knot here. Again, that is a fine wire Mustad extra wide gap hook. It's the grip pin fine wire three aught. Always wet your knot. Cut your tag end off there. Okay, like so, get your bait. Get some new worm out here. This one is in red shad, one of my go-to colors for the watercolor that I fish the most. I usually fish pretty stained and muddy water, and this red shad is a killer option. Okay, you'll see here, you can see the eyes, one on either side, or you can go by the word biospawn on the bait, little hook slot there in the belly. And really guys, I've rigged it pretty much every different way and it all works just fine. But again, if you want to rig it correct, the eyes belly slot on the bottom is how I would think rigging it correctly would be. But again, it works pretty much every way. And what's nice too about these rib sections, you can go in straight, come out right underneath the first rib there. And that really stays in place up there on the hook shank there. Locks right behind that pin. Line it up with your finger there go in come out flat on the back there and then you can just bury it to make it completely weedless okay now all you need is the weight i just use a little clam shot you can use mojo weights or whatever it is that you've got but anywhere from you know 10 to 14 inches or so up the line is pretty much where i like to keep it put your clam shot on there pinch it shut like so and you're good to go. You don't want to make it too tight because you don't want to crimp your line and actually cut your line. So just tight enough there and you are good to go. That is the Mojo Rig, killer little rig for the 7 inch XO ribbon. Nice long cast. Right here, and right here at the bank. Could be a decent fish too. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. A little mojo rig. We can get it up here. Not bad at all, man. Check that out. How about that? It's probably Definitely a two, maybe two and a quarter. XO ribbon doing work this morning. I'll take it. Good fish. Gotta throw you a little bit. Moving on, we do have a shaky head. If you guys watched one of my recent videos, you guys see me actually catching fish on these rigs using the XO ribbon. The shaky head that I was using in that video is from Moccasin Lures. It is the bed head, it's got a little rattle in it. Today we're just going to rig it up on the Bacasso Lures Tungsten Shakedown right there, okay? 
your bait. We'll just use this bait right here just because we don't have too many left. Okay, get your bait, screw keeper on there, thread that in. And this design fits really nice up to that ball head there. Okay, now line it up like so. Okay, but you don't want it, your hook to come all the way through. So kind of line it up, see where it's going to come in and out at. Put it in, just like that. Keep it nice and straight, and you're good to go, just like that. Okay? This plastic is plenty soft. When you get bit, you set the hook, it's going to pop right out, no problem at all. All right, we're going to toss it out here by this old lamp post here. There's a good one right here. I hear it. Yes, sir. That's what you guys are hiding under the mat. You in trouble now, man. You in trouble now. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger on that bed head XO ribbon. Not bad. From there, we're going to move on to the Texas rig. A Texas rig is basically a worm weight, and then your Texas rig style hook, either an EWG. In this case, we do have the Mustad round bent offset. A little grip pin there, quarter ounce weight, go in the head, and I'll come out right underneath that first little section there, slider on up the shank of the hook, Twist it around like so. Line it up. See where it's going to come in and out at. And leave it buried in the plastic. Just like so, nice and straight. Set the hook, it'll pop right out. A little better fish, a little better fish. You couldn't resist the old XO ribbon. That's right. On the old Texas rig. There we go. Nice fish. Not bad at all. All right, guys, that's a few different ways that you can rig up the new Biospawn Lures XO ribbon in seven inch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you guys on the next one.